When you hear about AC Milan, countless talented players come to mind, such as the lengths of Van Basten, Ruud Gullit, Kaka, and many others. What all these players had in common was magnificent skill and technique. They were artists on the pitch. However, few have been able to mark their name in this club's golden history like Gennaro Gattuso, a player who, despite not being very gifted, managed to climb on the ranks of professional football and established himself as one of the greatest defensive midfielders of all time. Today, we will talk about what made Reno so special. Gennaro Gattuso began his career in the youth academy of Umbrian side, AC Perugia Calcio, in 1990 and was offered his first professional contract with the club in the summer of 1995. Despite his promotion to the first team, he played only 10 games in the next two years before being transferred to Scottish club Rangers FC after Walter Smith, who brought him to the Scottish club, left the club in 1998, new manager Dick Advocate, who took Smith's place, played him in out of position as a right back. Despite scoring five goals from 34 matches for the Rangers, he was transferred to newly promoted Serie A club Salernitana for £4 million in October 1998 and had a successful season playing 25 matches. Gattuso caught the attention of AC Milan, which signed him in the summer of 1999, in the same transfer window that striker Andriy Shevchenko joined the club. His debut came in a Champions League goalless draw against Chelsea on September 15, 1999. Following his promotion to the starting lineup, he played his first Milan Derby match on October 24, 1999, where he demonstrated exceptional maturity and tenacity while facing Inter Milan striker Ronaldo and earned praise from Milan fans. However, in his first season, Milan did not manage to repeat their previous season's success of winning the Scudetto, therefore finishing the season in the third place and not even going past the group stage in the Champions League. The next season was even poorer for AC Milan, they finished sixth in the league and then proceeded to be eliminated from the Champions League, which caused a great upset upon the fans, especially because the final of that year's edition was set to be played at the San Siro. This caused coach Alberto Zaccaroni to be sacked on the 14th of March, with club legend Cesare Maldini taking over as caretaker manager. Things started to change with the arrival of Carlo Ancelotti. Now players like Nesta, Perlo, and Rui Costa had arrived to help the club. The football world enjoyed one of the best midfielders of all time with the partnership of Gattuso, Perlo, and Clarence Seedorf. While having a pair of technical geniuses and a fearsome warrior, Ancelotti's Milan was able to produce magic in the 2002-03 Champions League campaign, finishing top of the group despite being in the same one as Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund. The draw brought Milan against the Dutch legendary Ajax, in which at the time a young Zlatan Ibrahimovic played. The first leg ended 0-0 with Reno getting booked with a yellow card, which would rule him out of the second leg, but to make things worse for Ancelotti, Seedorf also got injured in the 26th minute and wouldn't be available. The second leg was a hard-fought match between the two sides. In the 91st minute, Pipo Inzaghi rescued Milan from the 2-2 draw, which would favor Ajax. Now, it was time for the semi-finals. One of the most historic semi-finals in the history of the Champions League brought two Italian giants in a special derby della Madonnina, with the first leg ending in a goalless draw, and in the second a 1-1 draw saw Milan advance in the final on the away goals rule against Juventus. Gattuso had been crucial in both games, making it hard for Inter's attack to break through, picking another yellow card in the second leg. The final was set. Juventus vs AC Milan, Marcello Lippi against Carlo Ancelotti, Edgar Davids head-to-head -head with Reno. Gattuso's performance in the finals is considered one of the best defensive performances of all time, if not the best by a midfielder. He was all over the field for 120 minutes, displaying an absolutely exceptional defending in Grinta during the whole game. He bossed the midfield, thwarting the likes of Davids, Alessandro Del Piero, and David Trezeguet. His pressing was outrageous and he even brought some impressive dribbling and passes to the scene. Gattuso recovered more than 25 balls, and he was awarded the man of the match after his historic performance, which was the heart of Milan's success in the final. They crowned the season, beating Juventus 3-2 on penalties and becoming European champions. This was Gattuso's first taste of glory. A player like him, not gifted with much skill or technique, still managed to write his name in the history of football. 
he showed that hard work and determination can lead to greatness because despite not being particularly skillful from a technical standpoint, Gattuso was a physically strong, consistent, aggressive, and hard-tackling midfielder with an extremely high work rate. He also possessed a powerful shot and quick reactions, as well as an excellent positional sense and good anticipation, which enabled him to excel in this position. In his prime, he was widely regarded as one of the best defensive midfielders in the world. Reno played over 600 matches throughout his career, winning two Champions League titles, two Serie A titles, one Italian Cup, two UEFA Super Cups, two Italian Super Cups, and one FIFA Club World Cup, as well as U21 European Cup with Italy, and of course the most important trophy a player can win, the 2006 FIFA World Cup. He was one of the 23 players Marcello Lippi called up for the tournament, and he proved once again how good he was by being one of the key players in their eventual win against France, even earning himself a Man of the Match award in the quarterfinals, and was also a part of the tournament's all-star team. Gattuso has also been famously known for his aggression and rage moments, and he had some crazy fights during his career. He was often involved with brawls and had a fiery temper, and in a 2003 group stage match against Ajax, he slapped Zlatan Ibrahimović and got sent off. His most famous fight is in a 2011 round of 16 match against Tottenham in the Champions League, where the situation got out of control with Joe Jordan, with Gattuso even grabbing him by the throat. When I played football, all of my rivals were my enemies, I hated all of them. I wanted them to suffer. When I entered the tunnel, I didn't look at the faces, I was concentrated on the game he said in an interview. However, Reno always showed responsibility, and in a lot of his fights, he stood up for his teammates, which shows that he was always a great guy and a true friend. In my opinion, Gattuso was a great player, always putting his heart on the field, and although he was a bit crazy, he never failed to amaze with his genuine sportsmanship and respect. Chinaro Gattuso is the true definition of Grinta.